Oh yeah. What's up? What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are having another good day. Thank you for checking out the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. So today we are over at my buddy's Mike's house, also a longtime subscriber and fan of the channel. Some of you guys might see him in the comment section known as Monster Ram. He's in the back of his fourth gen Ram right now. Now for <laughs> <laughs> so for my OG subscribers and fans, you guys might remember about two years ago, we had this 4th Gen Cummins on the channel, okay? We did a full walk around on it, engine, everything. Uh, Mike over here has a beautiful and is a very fun driving truck, 4th uh, Gen, you guys. So today while we're making a video, I'm going to be showing you guys some a mod that I have never seen or heard about until Mike told me about it on his truck for his turbo, okay? Apparently, it makes it sound super nasty. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some startups. We'll get Mike to talk about it a little bit, and then we're going to do some drive-bys, and you guys can hear it, hear what it sounds like and what it does, and then uh, we can go from there. So Mike over here has done some good stuff with his truck. Uh, this thing scoots. I drove it last video two years ago. I'm going to put the video up in the uh, card so you guys can click on it from two years ago. I drove this thing. Dude got a Rev Max in it. Built trans. Freaking. This thing skirts, man. And uh, craziest thing, it's on stock fuel. Stock fuel injectors, stock CP3 pump. He has a second gen swap. He, uh, I forgot. Mike, is it a 369 S SXE? Right. Yep. So he has the Borg Warner. 369 SXE, which is a very nice, very fun driving turbo because I drove this truck so I can attest for that. Monster Ram intake. Got some goodies, some goodies. And it's a sharp truck. 37s, Toyos. He got the Fox dual, dual reservoir or Fox shock with a uh, single reservoir. And he got the Fox uh, dual steering stabilizer up in the front. Got a badass hood stack in the back, or not hood stack, bed stack in the back. And on top of that, he's a retired Marine. So, good old veteran, Laramine. He got the awesome, the awesome hook on the hitch. It's good stuff. All right, you guys, we're gonna get y'all a little startup real quick so you can hear this bad boy. sound. Six, seven comments, baby. Uh -oh. oh, snap. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it, man. All right, you guys. So we're about to go for a ride in Mike's Sport Gen. This thing is going to be legit. If you guys haven't met Mike, this is him. What's up, y'all? Awesome guy. Freaking retired Marine. We I pick his brain, get get good information from him from, from him. So stuff. if you guys are wondering, this mod is called T51, right? T51R. T51R mod. Basically, what it is is there's this one company that HKS. HKS. That's the name. They you send them your compressor cover housing, and they pretty much mill out the inside where the intake would connect to. Apparently, it gives it a ridiculous whistle. It's a it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's a pure. Uh, sound mod, but it sounds pretty cool. Uh, just from when he gave it gas, uh, gave it some throttle earlier, it sounded really good. So, we're gonna drive out the neighborhood, uh, take a little trip to Mexico or something, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some sound clips. Just a quick correction the, there's a several companies that do this mod, OCD Works is one of them. It's emulating the HKS Turbo that's no longer available and that's using a lot of the 2JZ kind of ricer gas vehicles. Uh, as far as I know, I'm the only 4th gen with this, and there's maybe one or two other Cummins trucks on the internet at all that that have this, so you'll be able to see what it sounds like. That's pretty cool. You guys know I'm always trying to find uh, new things or interesting things uh, that we can do to these trucks. You know, there's a lot of you guys out there that want that, that 
nasty whistle sound on these uh, on the, on, the, on the Cummins essentially because you guys know the Cummins is not known for a whistling turbo like the 6.0 uh, Power Strokes or even some of your Duramaxes uh, and etc. So this is you know if you're that sound chaser, which is there's nothing wrong with that. It, it sounds awesome. If you're that, well, go ahead. Well, I say like some people they don't want to do a second gen swap because they don't want to lose that sound that the VGT makes. Yeah. You know when it's tuned. Yep. This might be kind of an option for someone who wants to you know, increase that. Yeah. I've had a couple of you guys message me asking me, uh, will I lose the whistle sound if I do a second gen swap? And I said, yeah, you will. Uh, if you have a six seven, you know, it's, it's a give or take. But hey, this is an, a new uh, avenue that we can look into. guys can hear it. I know my mic's not the best on the camera. You got the hood stack in the back. Can you, can you, oh, can you open the back? Oh, yeah. We can fum fumigate it. That would be alright. <laughs> it can't be worse than a gas chamber. <laughs> That's right. We got the back window open. Oh man, this is gonna sound, go. this is gonna sound so good. Acceptable, nice sound truck. You know, you're rolling on the highway, you drive past somebody, they're gonna know you got a turbo in your truck, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Mike, this truck scoots. <laughs> and you haven't dynoed it yet. Dude, you gotta get on the dyno, man. This truck scoots. 37s, stock fuel, Borg Warner SXC 369, and this thing can get it. Rev Max 700? 700 Rev Max, man. Wow, this truck is awesome. God dang. <laughs> and it sounds good, too. I'm used to looking out the side mirror for uh, smoke. But you got you got the bed stack. Yeah. Oh man, she broke loose, man. Yeah, you can't really get on it until you're doing 40 or so. Okay. And you got new four wheel drive launches. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't hold you know, traction. Yeah. Oh man, that's nice. It drives so smooth too, man. Good lord. Did you notice a difference when you did the 2.0s or the 2.5s? Oh, up front? Yeah. The remote reservoirs? Yeah. I like it. Do you? I, I noticed a difference, although okay. it's subjective, you know. Yeah. And after having the other ones on there for a while, they were beat. What, you have the two single? The regular. Okay. Yeah. They're not bad either, you know. They're, yeah. They have nitrogen in them, so yeah. they actually bounce back. That's all, yeah, because I, I, I came from rough country to 2.0 singles, and I noticed a difference. Um, Personally, I like it. I like it at high speeds. It takes the bumps on at high speeds really good. So now, you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some side, some outside clips of uh, this nasty fourth gen. It's gonna be good.
Mike's gonna turn around, get us some side, some drive-by clips. That truck, man, that truck is nice. Check out the video, you guys, of my walk around. We do a full walk around on that truck. You guys gotta check it out. You heard it? It just chirped. He just chirped tires. He probably was coming out a second and going. Hopefully you guys heard Legit. that. I'm like on the side of the highway. People are like looking at me all weird, but whatever. I think he just made a UE, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Here he comes, baby. Damn! <laughs> Hopefully you guys heard that. Uh, that sounded legit. Definitely, definitely is a very intriguing mod. Um, I might actually look into that avenue because that does sound really good. I mean, don't get me wrong, a, a regular second gen swap, uh, six, seven, going down, screaming down the highway, that sounds good as well, but that sounds like better. It just sounds a little better. I don't know. Here he comes. He's coming back too. Oh. We're going to get some low speed, uh, sounds for you guys so you guys can hear it. Man, that truck looks sharp. Go. Nasty man. That thing sounds sick. Hell yeah. So you guys, that that is a uh, very very nice mod. I like it. I really do. Uh, hopefully you guys got good audio sounds in cab and on the side of the road. Uh, if you didn't. Just take my word for it. You guys know me. I don't. I don't blow smoke and stuff like that. Uh, it's good. It's really nice. I think on top of that, the truck being fast and chirping and stuff too, that makes it even more enjoyable. All right, you guys. So we are done. Just now finished leaving Mike's house. Freaking, that was a good time. It was a good time. Um, freaking love <laughs> that. That truck's nasty. It's really nasty, man. Uh, if you. If you're that type of person where you think you gotta have 33s or you know stock tires to get down and get rolling, nah. Dude got 37s, uh, 410 gears, re-geared the truck, Yukon gears, thing screams down the road. So you guys, if you really like the, you know, if you if you have any questions about what mod it was or what he, uh, where he got it from, anything like that, uh, comment down below. I'm sure Mike's gonna watch the video. Uh, I can also put a link in the video description uh, so you can check out the company. They do all turbos, uh, so you can do your Borg Warners, your Smedins. Uh, all you got to do is fill out the information of your cover. Uh, I believe turnaround, Mike was telling me, is about a weekish. You send it to them about you know, a couple days, and then they, they uh, send it back, cleaned up and stuff for you. So definitely. Another thing we went ahead and did while I was at Mike's, I forgot to mention to you guys, is we picked up, Mike has a valve spring. Uh, uh, pretty much to compress the valve springs when you're removing them, the tool, and he also has an injector puller. So we went ahead and picked those two things up. Uh, after talking with him and also, you know, researching myself, I think I'm gonna do valve springs in conjunction with the injectors because if you do injector or if you do springs, you have to pull your your injectors out. So why not just order some springs, knock them both out at the same time, and then if I'm doing springs. Might as well do push rods too. So we'll probably be looking at some hardened uh, or some thicker, some heavy duty springs. Uh, so we got a lot of cool stuff happening, you guys. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you guys are curious, the injector puller tool is right there. And then the spring compressor tool is right here. So we got that good stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I had a good time filming it. Um, you guys probably be seeing Mike on the channel a little, a little more a little more often. Uh, we haven't linked up in a while, so it's good to talk with him and stuff. So until next time, you guys, take it easy, be safe, peace out, and you guys have a good